Hey guys, I guess we're here to talk about Prime Day, huh? That whole thing that I did the video of Eurotrek Simulator 2 and I was talking about how great Prime Day is going to be and like everybody's talking about how amazing this sale is going to be but it's all hush hush, it's, it's very quiet, nobody's between you and me, between you and me, holy crap, there's going to be this amazing sale on Amazon in honor of their 20th anniversary. Ah, you won't even believe the deals you can get on granny panties, apparently. And diapers and, and uh, containers. Rubbermaid. <sighs> so, yeah... Apparently, Amazon Prime Day was a fucking joke. And by joke, I don't mean that they seriously intended it to be a joke. I mean, that shit was clown shoes. That was pathetic. Particularly if you're, you know, if you're like us and you're interested in collecting movies or even if you're interested in collecting video games or, hey... Uh, as I mentioned in the first video where I was talking about this big sale that was going to happen, uh, the first place I heard about it was on a Build a PC subreddit, where there were a lot of sellers on that subreddit, on that post, saying that they had that they were selling PC parts, and that those PC parts were going to go on sale. There were going to be a lot of PC things. So if you're a PC guy and you're trying to get some stuff for your PC, then watch out for this sale because it's going to be great for people with PCs. Am I the only one that noticed that there wasn't freaking anything in regards to PC? That's the part that really pissed me off. I can go, I can, I can deal with not getting many things with Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff like that because you know what? That, that nobody promised that. Nobody said, oh, there's going to be a whole bunch of deals on Blu-rays and DVDs. They just said, hey, there's going to be this big sale. And in this particular place, they said, hey, we, the sellers, are going to be doing some really cool sales on our fucking PC parts. And guess what was the one fucking thing? That's, that's what pissed me off the most. Because it was the one thing that was essentially promised by sellers. And yet, and yet, Yet, we got ziddly, diddly nothing. To all those people in that subreddit, to all of you who made claims that you were going to be doing these big sales for Prime Day, I have one thing to show you. This right here. Seriously, that is a dick fucking move. That is fucking annoying as hell. Pumping this shit up beyond belief and you're not even going to fucking do anything for your, the goddamn sale? Really? Fuck you guys. Seriously. With that out of the way, there was one thing. There was one thing during Prime Day that I took advantage of. There was one thing. Well, there were a couple of things. There were a couple of things, I'll be honest. The, there were two things that were on sale before Prime Day started. And I just decided, when, when everything kind of turned out to be a bust on Prime Day, I just said, fuck it, I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to get these. And one of the reasons I didn't want to bite the bullet on them was because, you know, they weren't in stock at the time. So I was like, well, it's going to take a few more days to get here and that means I probably won't have it in time to do a video for next week. And I was like, well, I don't know if I want to get it. But I bit the bullet and I guess you'll see those uh, in a later video at some point. But, uh, the only ones that arrived on time, the only things that I got that arrived on time for video, which I'm going to talk about today, and the things that I actually got as a result of the Prime Day sale, were, th were some Blu-rays that were a part of their Amazon Warehouse deal. And there were a lot of people who didn't realize this, but uh, yeah, Amazon Warehouse, their warehouse section on Prime Day, everything on their warehouse section was 15% off, which... Might not sound like a big deal, but when you've got a bunch of, like, well, a bunch of things in total, but a bunch of titles on Blu-ray and DVD that are priced s just slightly out of your range, it, it suddenly becomes more of a, 
ooh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should bite the bullet on that. And yeah, uh, there were a few titles that I really wanted that were in like the 550 to 575 range in terms of the price on Amazon Warehouse. And you know, they're used titles, so you don't necessarily want to pay that much, but they're also titles that you do not see in the wild that often, or at least I don't, not in my area. So it, it was just, it came down to, you know what? I'm probably not going to get this good of a deal on these any other time soon, so I might as well get them now while I can during this, you know, sale. So, for less than $5 each, I think the total came to like $9.24, maybe it was like $9.48 or something like that. It was 9 bucks and some change. So, put to put it that way, they were both over $4, but I don't know how much more over four dollars they were other than to say they were like at least 450 each <laughs> but uh you know for used copies they're pretty good they're pretty nice i'm pretty happy with them it's just i really wish i could have gotten more out of prime day but well i kind of did which you'll see next week when i get all those in the mail but I didn't get them from Amazon. I was kind of pissed off and I said, fuck you, I'm going to go over here and get these things over here instead. So, with that said, you can you can expect a huge haul video from that in the near future. But for now, let me show you what I got for Prime Day because I'm sure six minutes in, people are like, what the fuck? All right, Zombieland. Zombieland. I didn't have it yet, and I was like, you know what? It's blasphemy that I don't have this movie yet. It is absolute blasphemy. The past two years around Halloween, I've been thinking, man, I kind of want to watch Zombieland. And each time I've been like, I don't have it. And I don't think I could stream it anywhere either. Not to my knowledge, at least. So... I was just like, I want to watch this movie, but I don't have this movie, and I don't want to pay $10 for this movie because I'm a cheapskate. Blah, 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 blah. Finally, during the Prime sale, I saw it on the warehouse deals for about five sixty, dollars whatever and uh, yeah. When you take off the 15%, that brings it sub $5, and suddenly, paying less, five, less than $5 for Zombieland... That's a steal of a deal. I will do that every freaking day of the week. And, uh, yeah, it comes with the useless digital copy here, which I, you know, like, okay. And uh, the movie itself. Checked the discs. Uh, checked the discs, but I guess I really only checked the discs, so I didn't lie. Checked the disc, and it's pretty good. It's in good condition. Next up, I got one that I already had. <laughs> yes, I bought a Blu-ray that I already have, that I recently purchased, in fact. But uh, the reason I purchased this one is because it's the remastered edition. This is the fifth element. You may remember that I picked up the uh, steel book, the cool-looking steel book from uh, Best Buy recently for about ten bucks, and I said. I'll, I'll eventually pick up the remastered version because that the Steelbook doesn't have the remastered version and it. it has the original crappy version. So when I found that out, I was like, you know what? I know that this doesn't have the version that you want on Blu-ray, but I still wanted that Steelbook because of how goddamn gorgeous it was. I couldn't say no. You have to understand. You, I, I just couldn't say no. But I also understood that you know, paying $10 for the Steelbook and then knowing that you're going to have to buy it again to get the good version on Blu-ray. It's like, I didn't want to pay too much more for that good version on Blu-ray because I had already spent $10. So how about this? $10 for the Steelbook, less than $5 for the remaster. And yes, I did, che did the check-in. It is, in fact, the remastered version, which has the uh, UPC code of 043396215207. ISBN of 142487332. So, yeah, it doesn't look like much, but when you actually pop it in and, you know, you if you pop both of the discs in and you watch like five to ten minutes of each movie, you will see a freaking difference. You will see the difference. It is very important to have the remaster. And I've heard people saying, 
and I'm not going to call them, I'm not trying to call anybody out, but I've heard people saying that the UK remaster is better than this one, and I have to say, I disagree. I humbly disagree. I have seen the uh, screenshots of the UK remaster, and quite frankly, it just does not look as good. It is not as sharp, and of course, the argument is made, but that's because of edge enhancement. Well, edge enhancement does exist on this. I can tell you that I, I saw it for myself definitely things popping in a way that feels a little bit unnatural. Still better than the one that you get in the Steelbook, mind you, but uh, the difference here is that you get a lot more film grain in this than you do in the uh, UK remaster. And I would I would say, with beyond a shadow of a doubt, that the UK remaster has a lot of DNR going on in there. I don't know what else it could possibly be because if you look at the difference between this and the UK remaster and the UK remaster is just blurry as fuck it just is it's really really blurry you can't detect any film grain when you like there's a scene that I was being shown with the it was kind of in the desert and you can see the sand in the desert and I and, and among the sand there are a bunch of rocks and I was noting that with the sand there you can see in in this transfer although it's most although some of it might have to do with edge enhancement you can see some of the individual rocks because you can actually see the 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 shadow being created by those rocks the problem with the UK transfer is doubled up because it is not just the fact that you, it's blurry so you can't really see the rocks really well but also it's very bright they brightened the print or the print was that they got was brighter for some reason but it's very bright for whatever reason and because it's bright you really can't detect those shadows as well and you cannot see the as much content when when it what it really comes down to is you can't see as far the distances that you can see in the film are not as far in the UK version as they are in this one and there's just more detail in this one there just there really is there's more detail in this version this is the version you want to get i don't think that the remastered all the remastered versions are like this glossy version or anything so don't take the, don't take this cover as like a oh that's the one i want to get follow the upc code that i gave you earlier if you are interested in this title that's pretty much one of the only ways to actually tell whether or not you got the right one so yeah um overall i'm just glad that i was able to get really one of my favorite movies from my youth or kind of my youth my early teens i guess i would say um one of my favorite movies from that era on the steelbook that I wanted and then to get the remaster for, you know, to get it all together for as a package for less than $15. I, that, I'll do that. that. That's fair. I would have liked to not have gotten the crappy print on steelbook. I don't know why they put that in there. You can see the disc and if you go watch that video... I show you that the disc has actually got different disc art, and it, the disc art matches the steelbook itself, which doesn't make sense. You'd think if they were putting enough effort into it that they were putting new artwork on the disc itself, that they would actually stop to take a look at the actual content that they were putting on the disc, but I guess they didn't give a fuck. So, yeah. Sad, but, you know, if you want to get the good one, you got to get this. It's not a bad idea to get the Steelbook. The Steelbook is beautiful, but this is the one you want. So anyways, for less than $10 total, The Fifth Element Remastered and uh, Zombieland here on Blu-ray. Pretty good pickups. I will say that they're very good pickups, very good deals on Amazon that, you know, they weren't advertised really very well. Not a lot of people knew about the 15% off thing. But, you know, if you know what to look for, where to look for it, you know, what I do when it comes to the warehouse deals is I I just, whenever there's something I want on Amazon, whenever, whenever there's a Blu-ray I want, I put it on my Blu-ray wish list that I have on Amazon. And uh, 
then when they when I'm you know curious and I have some money and I'm like you know I kind of want to spend some money I want to get a blu-ray sometimes late at night I'll go through my wish list on Amazon and I'll check and see if there's any of these that have a warehouse deal on them because sometimes you'll find a warehouse deal that's just absolutely insanely good so yeah and that that's actually how I found seven pounds uh, with prime shipping for like 21 cents I paid 21 cents free shipping for seven pounds for a blu-ray yes it's a Will Smith movie but I paid 21 cents for a fucking blu-ray beat that at least it wasn't hitched so yeah that was my big prime day haul but, well, to be honest, my big Prime Day haul is going to be in the next few weeks because, you know, when, when this didn't pan out as well as I thought, I'm like, I have lots of money here and I want to spend it. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I, I picked up some cool stuff and I can't wait to tell you about it, but I don't want to talk about it until I actually get it in my hands. You know what I mean? So, uh... Yeah, I guess that'll do it for now. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Peace.